guys. Welcome to this episode of Simple Servings brought to you by Supper Serve. My name's Kenyatta, and today I have my good friend, Eva Faye, with me. Hi, guys. Thank you for having me here. Of course. So I was thinking, um, when I was trying to come up with what we were going to make, I was thinking about the summer season and everybody's trying to eat healthy. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things that you eat when you're trying to be healthy? Yes, well actually, you know, it is summer, so it's pool season, it's bikini season, it's really important, you know, to slim down, stay fit. So I like to do a lot of fresh salads with mm -hmm. shrimp and avocado and all of these things that are very tasty, um, but you can only do so many salads every day and it just kind of gets boring after a while. So it's a good idea to spice it up, but it's just how we make it and what we add into our different uh, things that we eat. So I'm sure you have plenty of ideas that you can teach us. Yeah, I was actually thinking about tacos today. Well, how convenient, because I love taco day. <laughs> Me being Mexican and all, tacos are my ultimate, ultimate favorite. So we're gonna start out by cutting our avocado. So what I do is I usually just kind of cut it straight in the middle and then pop it open. And see, Perfect, because yours Perfect popped cut. right out. I but it. I need mine to do this because I have to show the little trick to get right. the seed out. That you just use the knife and go right in there, and then of course it's not. It's not gonna work because you know. <laughs> because I'm right, mine to, came out perfectly fine. But right. there we go. You just use the knife to pop it out. Okay. And so because we're um, going to be making guacamole, we don't have to do any type of special slices with it. Okay. What I do is I just kind of hole it out a little bit. Just, just kind of straight lines? Yeah, okay. just a couple of little straight lines. And it just makes it easier to pop out of the skin. That way, when you turn it over, it oh. comes straight out. It's a new trick I've never known. How does that face? Like? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, show well, me. I, all right. Lead a bike down here. So, <laughs> what I usually do is I kind of cut that tip off of the tomato. Okay. And then I cut it in half. All right. And then just kind of do it any way you want, honestly. I don't, okay. I'm not one of those people that's like, you have to go in this direction and cut in that. Because cooking should be fun. It should be easy. It should be effortless. If, it, if you make it that way, right. you might do it more often. True. You got to enjoy it every time. Exactly. It can't, it can't be too technical. You can't really think about it. Exactly. And so I usually kind of try to get it in nice little dices. Okay. Because I actually do like a chunky guacamole, and so I don't necessarily okay. like it like really. Also, biting on a lemon peel is supposed to help with the tears. Really? But my thing is using red onions. Honestly, oh, every time I use red is. onions, I really don't have problems. So that's you're talking about the white onions are probably what make the, you. The okay. white onions are a little bit worse than but the red onions. But there are like the little tricks, like I okay. said, like the the lemon peel, cutting it underwater, and then cutting it on a certain bias. Um, but like I said, that gets really technical. But I've okay. never had problems with red onions before. Okay. Um, there are some times that you might have tear up a little bit, but for the most part, no issues. So with the onions, I like to do in little chunks also. So I dice it up a little bit. And then I put that right on in there. All right, so we got the onions in here. And we're gonna go for the cilantro now. So with the cilantro, what I like to do is I peel, pull those stems off, the mm -hmm. big parts, and kind of just get the leaves. Okay. And then I just chop up the leaves. And I try to chop the cilantro as fine as possible so it mixes really well. Okay. Um, can you cut that lime in half? I can. All right. So I get. So now on top of all of that, I add some lime to it. Mm. Now I like mine actually kind of really limey. Really? Yeah, I like all it right, really so we'll limey. All right, we'll do the whole lime if okay. you like that. That's a good idea. Let's do that. 
Once I kind of get everything mixed together, I put a little bit of salt and pepper mm -hmm. and then just kind of figure out how much I need and go right. from there. Because some people don't like it really salty. Right, it's right. It's like that bad habit where you salt something first before it's trying somebody's cooking. That's exactly. Rude. Don't do that. That's or rude. put hot sauce or ketchup on it. Oh, God. So this um, is something that I kind of do. I use a fork because I don't have the muddler just to kind of break down the avocado. Yeah, I see and that. And get everything going in here. Kind of gets in between everything. Right, right. And so this would be great because I think today we're going to do shrimp tacos and chicken tacos. And I think this just goes so well going on top of that. And so now we have this beautiful, chunky, delicious guacamole. Voila, yay, good great, job. Right? <laughs> All right, so now we have to move on to the next step. All right, I'm excited. 